Here's Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk. You know, it's always been interesting for me to observe the herd instinct in teenagers around the world. There's just a remarkable sameness to their culture today, no matter where you go. In Australia, in Russia, in Latin America, in the United States, adolescents tend to dress in similar ways and hold common attitudes. Even their graffiti scrawled on bridges and buildings has a similar look to it. And why not? They're watching some of the same movies and television shows and listening to the same music. I'm told that some little Maasai children sitting in grass huts in Kenya watch MTV on satellite television. So the next generation is just being homogenized by this electronic revolution occurring around the world. And sometimes the urge to merge becomes humorous. Perhaps you read the newspaper story of a teen choir performing down in Miami, Florida. In the middle of the battle hymn of the Republic, one young woman on the front row passed out. Well, that planted the idea of fainting in 32 other impressionable heads. Minutes later, a boy buckled and disappeared from the back row, and then a girl in the middle took a dive. By the end of the song, 20 kids lay flat on the ground. (laughs) Conformity is one of the most powerful forces in the life of a teenager, and today, that impulse recognizes very few cultural or geographic boundaries. Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk. It's amazing how many problems in our lives can be eliminated by this simple prescription. Get some rest. Here's Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk. The late great football coach of the Green Bay Packers, Vince Lombardi, once made this statement, fatigue makes cowards of us all. How right he was. Physical depletion renders us less able to cope with the noisiness of children, with a dishwasher that won't work, and with the thousands of other minor irritations of everyday living. Perhaps this explains why men and women who are grossly overworked often become cowardly, whining, griping, and biting those they love the most. I think a great many people today need to make rest a priority in their lives. Each of us requires a certain number of hours of sleep, and we should make certain that we get it. We should also turn down that invitation to serve on yet another committee, or that late dinner date, or even that new promotion if we know our reserves are already depleted. We might even carve out an entire day, setting it aside for recreation in the best sense of the word. A walk in the woods, a long talk with some friends, or just a good book and an easy chair. Fatigue isn't easily conquered, but a few tough decisions like these will help us lead saner and more healthy lives. Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk. Here's Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk. A Russian novelist once wrote, if you want to utterly crush a man, just give him work of a completely senseless, irrational nature. It's true. In a concentration camp outside Hungary during World War II, Jewish prisoners were forced to move a mountain of dirt from one end of the compound to the other. The next day, they were told to move it back again. For weeks, this went on until one day, an old man began sobbing uncontrollably and he was led away by two captors. Days later, another man who had survived three years in the camp suddenly darted away from the group and threw himself on an electrified fence. In the weeks to come, dozens of prisoners just went mad running from their work, eventually being shot by the guards. Only later was it learned that the cruel activity had been ordered by the commander as an experiment in mental health, just to see what would happen when people were forced to do meaningless tasks. There's no question that the person who finds fulfillment in his or her work will enjoy greater physical and emotional health. On the other hand, a person who feels caught in a meaningless job will tend to become irritable and discouraged. If you sense that your talents are being wasted, it may be time to consider a change of career. Life is just too short to spend it doing something that is demeaning, unmotivating, and monotonous. 
But before you move out of the old house, you better make sure you have a new one waiting. Even dead-end jobs are better than none at all. Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk.